Welcome back to Zombie Side Black Plague. We're doing Quest 3 The Shepherds with our bumbling band, led by, of course, Baldric the Purple Mage. Uh, we've got quite a horde of zombies building up here. We only have two objectives left to get to one in this little room here, and one in the little room to the north. So I think it might be the time to split up our party and uh, try and get those objectives as soon as possible, uh, winning us the scenario. So up first for this episode will be Clovis. So Clovis, uh, of course, is here with Baldric. He does not have his dual short swords at the moment, so for his very first action, he will take the short bow out of his hand, put the short sword back into his other hand, and now he's dual wielding, once again, his short swords. There are three runners in the space with him, so he is going to, of course, attack them with his short swords. He gets to roll four dice, hitting on a four plus and he gets three hits clovis is not fooling around anymore all three runners have been taken out with one shot good stuff from clovis that takes him into the orange 16 17 18 right into 19 which is exactly the orange zone he gets to have another ability and his two choices are plus one free melee action or sword master and I am not quite sure what sword master is I can look it up here quickly and tell you so sword master is taking a look in the book here the survivor treats all melee weapons as if they had the dual wield symbol Wow that's pretty powerful but since we're almost finished I think he is just going to take plus one free melee action all right that was his basically his second action because he equipped a short sword then he did an attack he has two more actions remaining and i think he is going to be part of the entourage that goes to the south to this door so he'll go one two into the battle zone down here with ann and nelly he's not too concerned at the moment about them all right up next of course is Anne. I'm doing everything kind of long shot here today. I'll give you a bit of better overview of the board. And down here she has three dead eye walkers in her space. She also has the flaming greatsword, which is awesome. Rolling five dice, hitting on a five plus. So she will do her first action of four. Uh, and she has actually she has a free melee action. So she's going to use that first. So she could do five attacks if she wants to. So her first free melee action, uh, she gets one hit. So that's going to take out one of the Deadeye Walkers, taking her to 26 experience. And of course, she will do that again. Uh, this is her first of four regular actions. And this time, true to form, she ends up getting two fives and a six. Three more hits, the other two Deadeye Walkers didn't stand a chance and still has three um, actions left and she has up to 28 experience with her three actions left then she will go one two and her final action then will be to try and break open this door with the flaming oh, should she do that should she do it yeah we're kind of in a rush here she's going to try and break that door down with the flaming greatsword why not and oh yeah not a problem she does it but that's going to cause maybe other problems as i readjust the camera because we're going to see what's going to spawn in those little rooms okay now. so the first we're going to have spawn here and spawn here we are in the orange first orange spawn two oh oh wow two runners that was a very bad mistake <laughs> a very bad mistake ouch two runners wow that was of course horrendous the next orange uh, spawn is an abomination adding insult to injury so we have two runners and abomination showing up there and is in bad trouble because uh, wow those two runners are gonna get two actions that's two damage to Anne. Anne, however is fully healed so she could take it on the chin but uh, hmm We'll see what happens up. Next, of course, is Nelly, who probably will have something to say uh, about that. And I think we'll leave the camera as it is. Nelly, of course, has Slippery, 
She has plus one free move action and four action. So for her free move, she's going to move here. And then she has four more actions. She's going to go one and two right into the room with the two runners. She has two actions remaining. Um, oh, hang on. She's not going to do that. That is silly. So she has a free move. Her first action, she has three actions remaining. She, of course, is wielding the Chaos Longbow. So she will shoot the Chaos Longbow into this room. Uh, it rolls four dice, hits on a four plus. So it is absolutely de uh, nasty. All right, she's going to do that. She's going to take her four dice and she's going to attack those two runners. Let's see if they can dodge the Chaos Longbow. And she has plenty of arrows. One, two, three hits. Wow, almost dragon fire in the space if she'd got all four hits. These two runners who were looking like a threat are now just looking like piles of goo on the floor. All right, two more experience for Nelly. That takes her from 36 to 38. She's getting very close to the red zone. So that was free move, first action, second action. She really has two actions remaining. But I think she's going to stay here. Well, she could move in there and take that ex uh, experience point. But then she's going to get stuck with the abomination. I think she's just going to leave it there for now. Is there anything she could uh, exchange with Anne? She might as well exchange with Anne just for the heck of it. For her in action. She's going to give Anne the storm bow. Why not? And Anne will then equip the storm bow in her other hand. Okay, uh, and we're not going to do anything else, or maybe we should move Nelly one space here. No, nah, there's no point. We're going to leave Nelly there. All right, good stuff, Nelly. Wow, those runners bothered me for a minute, but uh, they went away. All right, up next is Baldric, and Baldric, what is Baldric gonna do? Um, what is Baldric gonna do? Eh? Baldric is going to head north. So let me readjust the camera. And we'll have Baldric take his turn. All right, Baldric's going to make a dash to the north up to this room. So he has two free spell casting actions, and he also has a uh, and four actions. So for his first regular action, he will move here, and then he will use for his first free spell casting chain lightning on the runner in his way. And so Chain Lightning is three dice, hitting on a five plus. And Baldrick, of course, misses. So that was his first free spell casting. Let's try it again. Oh my god, he's true to form. He misses again. <clears throat> he has three actions remaining, does he not? Yeah, one, two. So he's going to try one of his regular actions to shoot at the... Uh, wow, and he finally does it. So with one of his regular actions, after three attempts, he finally hits... <laughs> the runner with chain lightning. Wow, he has missed so much with his spells, but this is Baldric. We don't call him Bumbling Baldric for nothing. So let me see if I got that correct. He went one, two, three. So he has basically has three actions remaining. So he's going to go one, two, three to here, all the way over to that door. Uh, and there's going to be no spawning over here. So he's kind of in a relatively safe spot at the moment. And that was Baldric, unless I messed him up. No, one, two, three, three, um, and then one, two, three. Um, no, he only, actually, he was here one. Actually, I think he can only get to there. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure. If I messed it up, doesn't matter. He's going to hang around there. He's got to wait for at least someone else to back him up. Anyhow. All right, and up last, we have Dame Alyssa. Dame Alyssa has a plus one die melee. And she has four actions. And she has Life Saver. Uh, so I think she's going to have to come down here because that's where the Abomination is. So let me readjust the camera one more time. And we'll have Alyssa take uh, her right turn. So Alyssa's here. She's got four regular actions. One, two, three actions to here. And she's just going to hang out here and wait for Mr. Abomination to move into her uh, sights. So she can possibly take him out. Hmm. Yeah, that's how our does she she has one more action. One, two, three. She could exchange with Anne. And Anne is up first in the next turn. So you know what? She is gonna do an exchange action with Anne. She's gonna give Anne the heavy crossbow, and she's gonna take from Anne the storm bow. So they're just gonna do a bit of a swap there. 
so that Anne can try and take out the abomination in th the start of the next turn. I think that's a good idea. And that uh, basically concludes our turn. So let's rearrange the camera, move all the zombies, and then we will do the spawning and do one more turn. For the all episode. right, I can kind of get everything in here. The abomination, of course, is going to move one space into the objective area here, kind of just at the edge of the camera. That's going to be the movement there. This runner is going to run right to here. These two walkers, of course, will exit the building. So we now have three here. And all of the horde of zombies here, of course, can see Baldrick uh, to the end of the street. And they are going to try to go for him and take him down. Which, well, they could if they got to him. But it doesn't look like they're going to reach him anytime soon. We have a bunch of walkers here. We do have two runners, though. So these two runners are going to join this crowd by going two spaces. So there's quite a horde right there. That would be a good spot for the Chaos Longbow to fire into. But of course Nelly is way down the other end of the board. That is now going to have all of the zombies moved. So we have two spawn points here, one here. Let's get spawning in the orange. The first spawn point is a fatty. Wow, that's uh, not a big deal. So we get one fatty and we have the second spawn point there for a gain in the orange. Two runners. Huh. So far, so good, he said. <laughs> yeah. All right, two runners there. And the last spawn for turn one of this episode is a double spawn, which means we go back up to the board here for two cards. And we're supposed to actually double spawn. You basically draw two cards at once and you do them both at the same time. So we're going to get four, eight walkers. Whoa. Okay, you know what? I'm going to shut the camera off because you don't want to see me placing eight walkers. And when the camera turns back on, there's going to be eight walkers joining those two runners and a fatty. Wow. Okay, as you can see, in mass, mass of zombies over here. That's because we have two spawn points over there now. But we only have two objectives left to get. And so let's begin our second turn for this episode. Up first is Anne down here. And uh, I'm going to readjust the camera and we're going to have Anne take her turn. All right, now I'm doing everything kind of long distance today. I don't know if it makes it better. You can kind of see more of the board and see what's going on. Anne is going first. Uh, she has Bloodlust Melee, but jumping in there with the Abomination, not a great idea. So the first thing she's going to do, she does now have the Heavy Crossbow. And of course, when she took the Heavy Crossbow from Alyssa, she would have also taken the Plenty of Bolts as well. Only makes sense. So she has plenty of bolts, heavy crossbow, doing three damage on a hit. She will shoot at the Abomination, hitting on a four plus and plenty of bolts. So Anne rolls two threes. This is all right, let's get that Abomination. And she rolls a six and a two. She does on the first attempt, after using plenty of bolts, take out the Abomination. That's going to be five experience for Anne. She's going to go... 28 up to 33, 28, yep, up to 33 experience. She's still 10 away from the red zone. That was her first action. Her second action is to move into this room. Her third action is to uh, check out the survivors. And of course we know it is not a colored one uh, because we've already found those two. So that was one, two, three actions. She still has one action remaining. She might as well move back out into the street because we're going to have to head up to that final objective eventually. That was Anne. Excellent turn for her. Up next is Nellie. Nellie is going to make a run for it. Wow, we got so lucky down here that we got no spawn. So Nellie's going to take a run for the uh, next objective which is up to the north so Nellie has a free move and then she has four actions one two three four so she runs all the way up there very quickly up next is Baldrick bumbling Baldrick bumbling Baldrick um, way up here at the top of the board is just gonna go one two now should he try and open that door that would probably be pretty dang silly I think uh, Although he has two free spellcaster actions. You know what? He's going to do it. He's Baldrick. He wants to finish this off. So, um, that was two regular actions. He still has two regular actions and two spellcaster actions. He has the great sword in hand. So he's going to be rolling five dice uh, and hitting on a five plus to open that door. And he opened the door. He gets one six. That is enough to open the final objective space door. And with that said, 
Oh, wow. What are we going to have spawning in this room? So he has two actions left. He has two spellcaster actions, but we have two spawns in the orange. We'll start with the objective zone. We have two runners. Oh, yeah, but they're going down, I think. <laughs> he says. All right, two runners. Whoops, as I grab three. What is it with the first room having two runners in it? Okay, two runners. That's our orange spawn. And our final spawn up there is going to be five walkers. All right, five walkers. Well, we may be able to finish this off this episode, I think. If Baldrick can get in there and just grab that objective uh, as I drop stuff on the floor. How annoying. All right, there's our five walkers. Baldrick has two... Um, he's got two actions left and two free spellcaster actions. This could be for the win. If he can take them runners out, go in there and get that objective. Can he do it? This is Bumbling Baldrick. This would be his redemption. Let me readjust the camera and we'll see what happens. And I misspoke. He only has... He only has uh, one action left because he was here. So he's got one, two, three was opening the door. He has one action left, two spellcasting actions. All right, with his two spellcasting actions, he is going to shoot the chain lightning at the two runners and hope to nail them. And he got a five plus. He rolls a four, a three, and a one. Way to go, Baldrick. Oh my God, tries it again. This time, uh, and he would get one extra die, but he doesn't need it because he takes the two runners down with his second try. Wow, that was pretty good. Pretty good. He still has a free cast spell caster and he still has one free action as well. Um, but that is not going to do him, I think, much good. He could move in there and do chain lightning again on those guys. Uh, oh, and I got to give him two more experience. 32 up to 34. I don't think... Ah, you know what? The guy's nuts. He wants to finish it. He moves in here for his final action and for his final free spell casting action. Uh, we're going to have them roll five dice or three dice, chain lightning, and he misses everything. All right, we're going to come right back then. We're going to have Clovis take his turn. All right, up last for this turn is Clovis. Clovis, of course, is ever the crazed individual, and he's going to do one two actions to move in here with the two walkers and the runner he now of course is wielding his two short swords uh, dual wielding he's going to be rolling four dice uh, hitting on a four plus he gets plus one free melee action so he will be able to attack three times in this zone see if he can take them out he gets a six and three fours and that is four hits in the first shot he takes out the runner and two walkers with one lethal uh, snicker snack of his double short swords. Wow, that was pretty awesome. So that was his free melee attack. He still has two actions left. Uh, ooh, and he's a little bit. He's going to go into the into the building. He's going to go one two. He's going to take the route through the building, and that's going to conclude the turn. Which means I need to adjust the camera. We're going to move all the zombies, and then I think we're just going to wrap it up with a final turn because I'm pretty sure we should be able to get that final objective and win the scenario. All right, there are so many zombies on the board right now. I think I'm going to do all the movement off camera. I'm pretty sure that uh, I will get the movement correct because everything's got to kind of either funnel this way or that way. And I'm pretty sure everything's just going to funnel down this main corridor. Uh, so, and I don't think it's going to make a heck of a lot of difference at this point if I get the movement exactly right. So I'm going to turn the camera off, we're going to move everything, uh, and of course in the upper right hand corner we have Baldrick up here, and all five of those zombies are going to pile right into his space, into the final objective space. So I'm going to come right back, uh, we're going to then I'll have all the zombies moved and then we'll do the spawn. All right, everything's moved, let the spawning begin. First spawn point up here in the orange five Deadeye Walkers. Well, I don't think we actually have any Deadeye Walkers left on the board because our bumbling band has done such a good job of eliminating them. But five more show up uh, to, of course, back up the rest of the horde. Okay, that's the first spawn. Our second one, of course, is still up there. And five Walkers. Wow, we're getting a little perilously low on Walkers, but I don't think we're going to be too concerned at this point, because I think 
we're just about ready for the win so you have to bear with me here as i do the final spawn for the series i think and the final spawn for the series i think is going to be right down there in the orange two runners i think we have probably uh, made ourselves another series that is successful with Baldur's bumbling band because up first uh, now is going to be Nelly and uh, actually you know what I didn't have Dame Alyssa take her turn <laughs> oh, oops okay it shouldn't have been uh, yeah it should have been Dame Alyssa well she wouldn't have done much anyway she would have just gone one two three four to here wait just off the side of the board here so oops sorry about that yeah trying to go through the final thing here all right uh up last or up first for the very final conclusion will be nelly so i'm going to readjust the camera we're going to have her take her turn after her will be baldrick if baldrick can pull it off he can win the game for them but this is baldrick so we will all right. see the final action nelly goes first she has a free move and then she has one two three she's got one more regular action i don't think she wants to shoot the chaos bow into this space because she'll probably kill baldrick with it so for her final action she will just get out her uh medieval cam camcorder and film the final <laughs> the final scene uh, of uh, or she'll she'll take out a charcoal and some uh, vellum and start drawing the final scene as Baldric can Baldric pull it off he has two free spell casting actions four regular actions he has five walkers in his space he has the chain lightning spell let's see if Baldric can finally uh, show us how uh, much of a uh, awesome mage he really is uh, so he's going to start off with his two free spell casting actions, rolling three dice, hitting on a five plus. And he gets one hit. That's one walker down. His second free spell casting action, he gets another one hit. <laughs> okay, he's wasted now all of his free spell caster actions. That's taken him up to 36 experience. He has four regular actions. Uh, and he's going to switch now to his great sword. So he's going to use his great sword, which is five dice hitting on a five plus. And he gets a six and a five. Wow, that takes out two walkers. He has three actions remaining. Nelly scribbling as fast as she can. Three actions remaining for Baldrick. He gets one five, which cleans off the final walker. That's going to take him to a total of 39 experience. So nobody has gotten into the red. And for one last action, he has two actions left. He will rescue the survivors. And that is going to be the final objective. And that's going to conclude. Wow, that concludes our series with Baldrick basically uh, doing the final uh rescuing wow so baldrick's bumbling band once again succeeds at quest three called the shepherds and uh yeah that's it so thanks so much for watching along thanks for your subscriptions your comments your likes i have no idea what's coming up next nor do i know when it's going to come up next like i said i have uh some uh issues and time constraints happening right now which makes doing these series kind of difficult so bear with me. Um, it might be a week or two or possibly longer. I'm not sure. I will try to get something, of course, to the board as quickly as I can. Uh, I really do enjoy doing these playthroughs for you. And uh, I apologize for the goof-ups along the way. But I think this was a pretty good win for Baldrick and his bumbling band. I think they did a pretty good job uh, cleaning up the streets, finding the survivors. And I hope you enjoyed it somewhat. All right, thanks so much for watching along. And we'll see you in the next playthrough series.